and welcome to this session on determine of the efficiency of squirrel cage induction motor by brake test let's begin with the session let us now take a look at the objectives of this session at the end of this session you will be able to connect and conduct the test for actual loading with the brake calculate the output power from the readings of the spring balance calculate the efficiency of the motor the equipment and the instruments required for conducting this test are three phase squirrel cage induction motor with brake loading arrangement and spring balance three phase auto transformer triple pole single throw tpst switch mi voltmeter mi amp meter taco meter dynamo meter type watt meter connecting wires the range of meters can be selected based on the name plate details once the meters are selected the circuit need to be rigged up as per the circuit diagram from a three phase ac supply wires are connected from each phase to the input side of an tpst switch the output of the tpst switch is connected to three phase auto transformer voltmeter is connected to measure the line voltage between a and b phases and the ammeter is connected to measure b phase current two watt meters are used in the circuit to measure the three phase power the current coil marked as ml is connected in series with the phase and the potential coil cv is connected between the phases the terminals m and c are short circuited the stator phase windings of the motor are connected to the output of the auto transformer through watt meters and amp meter as per the circuit diagram The rotor of the machine is mechanically coupled with a loading arrangement. By tightening the hand wheels, the loading in the motor can be increased. Switch on the three-phase power supply and close the TPST switch. Slowly turn the knob. of the auto transformer towards the right observing the voltmeter reading till it reaches the rated voltage of the motor the motor slowly starts picking up the speed and reaches its rated speed ammeter wattmeter spring balance and tachometer readings and tabulate based on the range of the instruments the appropriate multiplication factor has to be considered while recording the readings increase the load by tightening the brake loading hand wheel and observe the meter readings repeat this process till the amp meter reads its rated value and note down the readings in the tabular column Now the experiment is completed let's reduce the loading to no load condition reduce the applied voltage by turning the auto transformer anti clockwise till it reaches zero switch off the three phase supply
measure the brake drum radius and the thickness of the belt and note the readings. Different performance parameters can be calculated now for different loads using the measured data from the experiment and tabulated. The torque is calculated using this equation. T in Newton meter is equal to 9.81 into S1 minus S2 into R plus T. S1 and S2 are the spring balance readings in kg. R is the radius of the brake drum in meter. T is the thickness of the belt in meter. The output power is calculated using this equation. P out of W is equal to 2 pi n t divided by 60. Here, n is the speed of the motor in RPM and t is the torque in Newton meter Nm. P in watts is equal to W1 plus W2. Input power is the sum of watt meter readings W1 and W2. Efficiency percentage is equal to power out by power in into 100. Now, the efficiency can be plotted against the power output. It can be observed that the efficiency increases as the load increases and thus the power output increases. It reaches a peak value at a particular load and then decreases. To recap, we have learned to connect and conduct the test for actual loading with the brake. Calculate the output power from the readings of the spring balance. Calculate the efficiency of the motor. So that's all about the determine of the efficiency of squirrel cage induction motor by brake test. See you in the next session.